Uh, my name is Dana Dahlquist. I'm from Skylinks Golf Course in Long Beach, and here's uh, Mike McNary here at uh, Willowick Golf Course in Santa Ana. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about the hip action in the golf swing, the different types, how it relates to your right leg and your golf swing. There's many different ways your right leg may work. Uh, we're going to demonstrate these different types of actions. Conventional wisdom has always been you want to you want to turn against a firm. Um, bent right leg, um, shifting your weight to the right, keeping your right knee bent. Again, is going to turn back here with the bent right knee. Okay, if you notice, the hip level here, hip level stays, uh, the hip action is too level with, um, and your knee is staying too level here. Um, what we find wrong with that is that it, what, it turns out that there tends to be too much knee action, too level of hip turn, and too level of shoulder turn coming through the golf ball. Um, creating a lot of problems with consistency in uh, the compression of the golf ball. Okay, so what we believe and what we have found is that as you turn back, right knee is going to straighten, left knee is going to go down, left hip goes down, right hip, as you can see here, goes up. So now we have a much steeper hip angle uh, as a result of the straightening of the right leg. As a result of that, um, the shoulder angle, angle tends to be a little bit steeper also. Um, we believe that you can generate much more power, much better angle of attack coming down through the golf ball, creating much, much more compression and a lot more hip action going through the golf ball. Um, with bent knees, um, and basically we, we think of this as, as like a uh, sprinters coming out of the starting blocks. You know, we, we kind of want you to turn, turn, and as you come down, you really want you to start utilizing your thighs your hips and your knees uh, to propel the golf club, the arms coming down, golf club coming down, and all the way into your finish. All right, now here from the rear angle, Dana, um, with the right knee staying bent, you're going to notice still you have a better view of the hip staying way too level, shoulder plane way too flat. Okay, we want, um, we want to actually make your shoulders steeper, your hips steeper, right leg straighter, so you have much steeper angle of attack. So Dana's going to show you the difference between the bent leg. Now, now, look, now notice how much wider, how much steeper the, the hip gets, how much steeper the shoulder gets. Now, actually, since we're even though even though we're on a on a relatively flat plane with our arms and our club, because of our shoulders, we're on a much steeper, much steeper plane, much sharper angle angle of attack coming down. So go back to the top, Dana. Also with the straightening of the right leg, which is very, very important. And as Dana starts down here, you're going to notice how much more room his right elbow has to come down to get in front of the right hip before going down through into impact. We don't want any collision between your right elbow and your right hip coming down. Um, that's going to lead to a lot of problems coming through impact. So the importance, not only is it for power purposes, the, the right leg straightening, get your hips steeper, it's also to allow you to bring the club down more on plane coming down from the inside and avoiding a collision between your right hip and your right elbow coming down into the golf ball.